Hey, everybody. Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 19th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop, Hawaiian Islands to the bottom left. There is the state of California to the upper right, and you can see our upper level low spinning off our coastline just now starting to spread some moisture back up and across the region. We'll take a look at what kind of impact this upper level low is going to have, and then the jet stream gets pretty active here, pointed towards the west coast of North America. We'll take a look at the latest on that as well. And you can see the National Weather Service has been uh, talking about this. Uh, some high risk of some heavy precipitation does include portions of Northern California. Some of these frontal systems look like they're going to pack a punch here, but just how far south will they get? We'll try to look at the latest on that here. You don't want to get caught up in these details just too much quite yet. Sacramento National Weather Service also calling attention to this active weather pattern Friday through Monday. That is next week, Friday, October 24th. So as that jet stream gets rolling in here, that's when the potential arrives. And in the meantime, beach hazard statements. You got some sneaker wave activity out there. Don't turn your back on the ocean. This goes all the way on through 8 p.m. Monday. Now, if we take a look here, upper level low, we're looking at 30,000 feet in the atmosphere and we're looking at wind speed. There's that system going through the Pacific Northwest, just barely clipped the California, Oregon border there. And then this upper level low will kick across as we go through Tuesday and Wednesday across the area. Then the jet stream gets ripping here across the Pacific Ocean and points at the West Coast of North America. And that's where we're concerned about some storm development here. Anywhere really from California, Central Northern California, all the way up towards British Columbia, it could occur. And then maybe additional rounds after that. We'll see how that goes but if we take a look here at that upper level low you see that pinwheeling off our coast and pivoting across the region here on tuesday and then wednesday yeah and then we get the gulf of alaska trough really gets rolling here as we go towards the end of the week and kind of see that trough and start to drop a bit further south and that's when our concerns are for a stronger storm to arrive and it's not too late to get one of these weather stations on your place of residence here click on that link down below to save 10 percent off very fun weather station all in one stores all the data for you in the cloud now, looking here at the European as of last night. So I want to show you that the precipitation starts to come up across some of California as we go through the day on Tuesday. Could get some thunderstorm activity with this. The European deterministic not showing a lot of moisture, but it does show some even up towards the coastal range and the Bay Area if you look closely. And across some of the Sierra Nevada as we go on in through the day Wednesday, that continues and then that kicks off. Then you can see the next round of storms here starting to push into Northern California. This frontal system could even impact the Bay Area as we go on in towards next week and then you see this out here maybe another storm developing going to be watching that closely over the next few days where will this go uh, really it's difficult to see right now the models have been all over the place with it so if we look at lightning flash density potential you notice as we move on into the day tuesday some of that activity starts to move up across some of southern california there so we'll pay close attention to that here over the next day or two as well and that continues on into the day wednesday before the upper level low gets pushed off to the east. And if we look at total precipitation in inches on the artificial intelligence ensemble mean, uh, we're going to scroll through here and you can see as we go through Tuesday and Wednesday, we do show generally light amounts there, but this could be accompanied with some thunderstorm activity. Even shows a little bit of potential there across some of Southern California, highlighted across some of the Sierra Nevada, some of the foothills, but it may even get up towards the Bay Area as well. And then we scroll off in towards uh, the end of next week and you see those precipitation about start to creep and crawl further south across the Bay Area. Area. And this is just an ensemble mean, but some big amounts showing up for some of Northern California, some of the Sierra Nevada. So we'll continue to watch that over the next few days. Now, also, this is the time of year where these systems start to produce some larger waves towards the coastline here. You see that bump in wave activity here as we go on into the day Monday. And then as we go on into the next couple of weeks, that storm track pointed at the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast of North America, we get some of that increased wave action, maybe all the way down through Southern California. Again, stay tuned for details on that as we get closer and we figure out that storm track a little bit better. 8 to 14 day below normal and above normal across a lot of the West Coast or maybe sense with what we just looked at and if we take a look again one more time risk of heavy precipitation on the experimental climate prediction center product here they are paying attention here to the west coast and they do see this risk and look at that high risk for some heavy snowfall across the siskiyous all the way down potentially into the sierra nevada we'll see how that turns out don't put too much stock in that just yet and look at the slight risk they included a huge portion of the lower 48 like what is that 60 percent of the lower 48 and got that moderate risk all the way down towards the bay area and check out the patreon page if you like as
as well. And I hope you guys are having a good day. Otherwise, we'll break this all down again tomorrow. We'll start to look at some high resolution models here as we get a bit closer with this upper level low. And I will talk to you guys then.